Hey guys, just another update. I just want to show you something new that I got. And as you can tell by the thumbnail, I got a new camera. So let me just show you the type of camera that I got. It is the Sony ZV-1. Now, if you're into cameras or you know about cameras, you're like, why would you go with that one? Or if you don't know, what is that? Well, <laughs> let me just tell you, I got it because I saw the reviews on it on YouTube and I like the features. It, it seems like it's an easy to use camera for people who just don't have any camera experience. And for that reason, I, I got it. I'm not doing it for pictures, even though it can take some decent pictures. But I just got it to just, you know, whip it out and just start recording gym vlog or uh, long extensive videos where, that go past 10 minutes. And one of the main reasons I got this camera was the quality. The quality of these videos is going to be so much better. It's going to look like, uh, like movies or, you know, just way better quality content. It's going to be used for my calisthenics videos, the how-tos, the, the progressions. Everything that is top quality that will be coming out in the future, that's what this camera's for. And there's one big other reason that I got the camera. My iPhone only has 128 gigabytes, and I try to delete everything that I don't use. And every time I make more than one video that is 10 minutes long, the second when I'm recording, the phone stops recording because I run out of space and it's annoying and I just have to worry and be efficient on what I'm recording my time or what I'm recording. So yeah, that's why I got this camera. But so I'm gonna just give you like a quick show of the camera. I'm just gonna unwrap it. It's a small camera. So if you're looking for something that's, you know, awesome, I think this camera is gonna be dope for you. I also got it with the, the vlogger kit, so it's got its own tripod. I already have three, man, it's crazy. Uh, it'll make it easy, so I can just go like this, record content, you know, at the gym, flexing. Just instead of holding it like this and worrying about it slipping from my hand. So let me just show you what it looks like. Oh, also this cost me under a thousand, if I didn't mention it. So it was more like 700 something camera itself would have come out to 800 with like the sales tax but I got it with that other the, the tripod and the two-year protection plan and that's why it came out almost close to a thousand so it was four things taxes protection plan tripod camera and this started open so so this is how it looks like took out the stuff and comes in this little bag and let me just show you how small this thing is like if you're trying to have something to carry around and just whip out and film no joke guys the, the iPhone look it barely covers man I wish I had another iPhone to compare but uh, see this bottle this bottle right here like side of my face my hand right now let me show you how small this camera is whip it out look how pristine it looks oh my gosh beautiful beautiful look at my hand look at that it is very small here's a lighter just to compare it to a lighter Guys, it's almost the same length as a lighter. So you could literally put this in your pocket and just walk around with it. Look, here's my pocket. I'm just gonna put it in here. Like some bubble gum. And boom, it's just chilling there. And if I wanna take out and whip out me doing muscle ups, it's there. So yeah, this is not a very high maintenance camera where you have to like put it in a bag carry it around. I feel like it's one of the less maintenance ones. But I recommend this camera. I don't know yet. I have not used it, but based on everything, I would say that it's cool. You do your own research and you decide. There's other cameras that are awesome, the Canon Mark II, something like that. But you make your own choice. Better quality content coming. Thank you for watching.